Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a short video um, while I was sitting here um, practicing coloring with my Spectrum Noir markers. Um, just to just chit chat with you guys and anybody who is a beginner at coloring with these alcohol ink markers. This is basically like a tips video, um, some things that um, I took into account when I started coloring. Um, I have, I'm still learning. Um, I'm learning more every day. Um, but basically, I I just finished coloring this little image right here, and this is an image by Krista Smith and um, Saturated Canary. I um, I purchased quite a few of their digital stamp images uh, because they are really good uh, for when you're practicing or even card making. Uh, my daughters love when I make cards for them and I incorporate these little characters um, on their birthday cards or whatever the case may be. And I just think that learning the color hair and um, shading um, really these are really good images uh, to learn on um, so this is the image that I just colored and um, I use my Spectrum Noir markers I have a um, coloring chart from Spectrum Noir that I did download from their website and this was the blank color chart that I used to color in as I collected my markers I would go on and color in and so finally I was able to collect the whole um, set of markers um, and um, the only color that I do need to get another marker for or actually an ink refill is for my GB7 because it did dry out on me. It's totally dry so I don't know if I need a new marker or if I could try ordering the ink which is um, something that I plan to do. Um, but having this chart um, here on the desk while I color is so helpful um, because with the Spectrum Noir markers you can't just look at the caps or go by the numbers um, on the the caps because the colors tend to be different from what they look like on the cap and then also if you look at the chart the colors don't um, just automatically go from small to larger number light to dark um, CR1 is clearly darker than CR2 so you can't really go by that um, so that's why it's good to have the chart here and it's easier to put together color combinations as far as skin tones and um, hair when you have the chart I've that has been my experience. I love having this chart sitting right here um, because the colors are more true. Um, whereas if you look at the cap, you might be, you know, fooled. Okay, so one tip that I would say would be to definitely download the blank chart and as you grow your marker collection, fill in the chart and keep this handy when you color um, it does wonders for me while I'm coloring it makes putting my color combinations it makes it so much easier and then also another tip that I would say would be to start a visual journal or some sort of journal to where you can keep a track of the color combinations that you put together and you really like and this is just an example one I have that um, I use and I put I always uh, put the type of marker that I'm using and the color combinations I um, I uh, chart so that I know when I'm using these markers I can go back and use that color combination and this is a really neat way of 
going back and just um, having that reference and um, you can also find a lot a lot of um, tips and um, things on Pinterest because I've seen a lot of these journals on Pinterest and they are very very cool I mean people color coordinate them just all sorts of things but this is just basic I just kind of jot down as I'm coloring and I find this to be helpful you know and I just write down like this here is some different hair combinations that I jotted down that I can always reference back to so having a journal um, also purchasing books um, and this one right here is just one of the Copic coloring guides um, and pretty much if you learn how to use the Copic markers um, you can use the same principles with coloring and shading with all of your uh, blendable markers so I would definitely say you know picking up literature in books does help as well along with watching YouTube videos um, that always helps um, this is one that I put together in a folder that I ordered off of make it crafty it's a book that uh, you can order to help you learn how to color long hair um, and uh, this one is going by like Copic coloring but like I said if you learn how to use Copic colors you're you can also use the same principles when you're coloring with these marker markers as well so this book I downloaded I purchased and downloaded off of the make it crafty website a um, lot of good um, a lot of good materials on that website along with um, purchasing digital stamp images and I'm also going to just show you some of the digital stamp images that I have purchased and um, I use um, strictly for practicing my coloring um, I don't make too many duplicates of these um, I purchased the digital stamps and um, I just like to if I copy it I just use it for practicing and coloring purposes um, so this is another cute one from saturated saturated canary um, that I like to practice as you can see this is one that I had started practicing um, coloring skin tone that's from saturated canary and this one right here I believe it came from the greeting form um, I believe it did um, here is one called a hairy situation from saturated canary this is awesome 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 to learn how to color hair um, just you know going online purchasing digital images if you don't have the rubber stamps it's um, really affordable to purchase your digital images and practice coloring and there's so many websites that sell so many cute little images for you to color um, and another tip that I would say would be to incorporate like multi-liner pins see like for this image um, I added a little bit more detail on her hair by adding some more little hairlines um, and I use this Le Pen it's brown by Marvy I also have a black one um, which is alcohol based and it's permanent that I use for those purposes um, I also use these jelly roll pins um, the white ones and if you can tell I use them to add a little bit of just detail to her cheeks um, put a little shine on her lips and earrings and just detail pins um, here's some more um, these are the Zig Millennium and they're for drawing and scrapbooking and you can also add detail to your images with these as well this is just different colors so I do that sometimes and yeah I would just say practicing practicing 
practicing. Um, the more I practice, the better I get at coloring these images and um, the better I get at using these Spectrum Noir pens um, or markers. Um, now another thing that I want to do since I've collected the whole collection of this set I really want to get some brush nibs. Now they're a little bit on the pricey side. Um, I went on Crafters Companion to check the price of them and they're like $6.99 for three nibs. So I do want to take my time and change out all of the nibs because I know that I color better with the brush nibs. Um, the nibs that come on the markers are a little bit stiff. Um, so changing this off to a brush nib would make my coloring a little bit easier I think and um, I've also looked at some videos and seen some people coloring with their Spectrum Noir markers after they have changed the nibs to the brush nibs and I really really love the um, results they get uh, but um, that will come in time I will um, change off the nibs um, just little at little by little um but the more you practice the easier it will be for you to color with these markers um yeah so i um i'm gonna go ahead and pan over and show you my little marker setup so this is the marker set up and I just put them in order there and um, yeah I really love this I purchased these trays from I think I purchased them online from um, joanne.com so yeah you I believe you get four trays per box if I'm not mistaken it might be more um, but yeah, I just kind of took my time and then another website that is really good, um, where you can purchase these markers and these trays is called, um, Carpe Diem and they have really good prices, um, on their website. I will try to leave a link below for, um, Carpe Diem, also Make It Crafty, and, um, some other websites that you guys might want to check out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a few tips for, um, beginner colorists or people just learning to color. Um, these are just things that I know that really helps me out when I am coloring, so... Yeah, that is pretty much the video, everyone. Um, I really love the results of my little image here. She came out really, really good. Um, yeah, and um, I'll try to put down below what colors I use for her skin tone. Um, she's a light skin tone. Um, and I used a darker marker just to add a little bit of shading around the perimeter of the image. Um, then I outlined her in um, gray just so she would stand out a little bit from this white cardstock, which is another tip you can do when you're coloring these little images. I will most likely put her on a card and probably put it on my desk at work just because it makes me happy to have some artsy pretty images that I can look at so anyway let me stop rambling and I just want to thank you guys for watching and um, if you're not subscribed to my channel please click the subscribe button below and I will see you in my next video bye